What is up guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I'm gonna give you three things that will help you make the best, most awesome, dynamic keynote presentation. So the first thing that you wanna do to make your keynote mm, instantly more dynamic is to use Magic Move. Now, Magic Move is a transition from one slide to another, and I have a complete separate video on how to use it. I'll link it like right here. But in short, Magic Move is a great, great way to transition. So this is an example from my founding father's lesson from US history. Let's go ahead and click on Alexander Hamilton and you'll see how it transitions to the Alexander Hamilton slide. And then as the information pops up in my presentation, you'll see again that once I click forward to transition to the next slide that his face will go from one slide to the main slide and now to this $10 slide. All of that was accomplished with magic move. The second thing that you gotta do to make your presentations look way more dynamic is to use wallpapers as your background. So I'm gonna use World War I as an example. We're gonna do a Google search for Battlefield One. It's a World War I video game. And we're gonna go hit images, go to the right under tools, and hit large, because we always want large images. And a lot of times these video games They'll make wallpapers like this one. High resolution, 16 by nine aspect ratio. Let's take this one, drop it in, bam, go back. And let's find one more. Um, I think I like this, yeah, this nice wintry one, definitely from Russia. Cause we're gonna be talking about the Eastern Front. So got one for Gallipoli, got one for the Eastern Front. I'm gonna zoom out, make sure I can see everything. We're gonna have to crop this in a little bit. So I'm just gonna drag it out. It'll definitely fit though. I kinda wanna get this lamppost in there and so I think it looks kinda cool. Try to frame it up as best I can. And there you go. What you wanna do next is hit back. So it is on the very bottom behind all of your text. So as you can see, the other picture that we have is on top of everything. So what you wanna do is highlight all your text and then also the two stars that I have on there. You wanna highlight all of them, go over and make sure they are on front and then the picture will fit behind them. And I'm gonna drag the picture out a bit, try to frame it up as best I can. I try to use um, like, you know, the rule of thirds when I try to frame the background picture. Not all the time, but some of the time. And yeah, right there is about good. I'm gonna give it a build in so it'll change. But let's go with dissolve. And let's make the dissolve five seconds. So it'll be a nice slow dissolve as it builds in. Hit preview and there you go. And you wanna make sure that it goes in the right order so you drag it where you want it. And let's hit play and see what happens. So here you go, here comes the text and it's talking about winter and Russia. Then it shifts to the picture of this guy in the desert. And then you talk about Gallipoli and the Ottoman Empire, then the stars, and bam, there you have it. So the last thing that we gotta do is we need to add a gradient layer to this to make the text pop. And so we're gonna go get a shape, just a square will do. And we're gonna drag it over the whole thing. I know it looks weird, but you'll see. So we'll go up to format, then we'll go to style, advanced gradient fill, and bam. And then we're gonna do what we did before. We're gonna drag it over, highlight all your text that you wanna go on top, and also the two stars. Go over and hit front, and then slide the gradient layer over. And as you can see, it makes like a cinematic layer. And if you press play, much more cinematic looking, where the text pops, the background kind of stays in the background. And it looks just very, very smooth, dynamic, and cinematic. And finally, the third thing that you gotta do to make your presentations the most cool, dynamic, way better than everybody else's presentation that'll blow your audience away is custom fonts. Custom fonts are like the thing that I feel like very few people do. And if you're using fonts that are already pre-installed on Keynote, you're already not doing the best job. 
Best place that I go to to get fonts is called defont.com. There's many websites out there. I just have had really good luck with defont. And so as we go there, you scroll down, you see they have a bunch of just free fonts to download. I like on the left hand side how they have these categories. Let's try Western. And wow, I like Rio Grande, that looks kind of cool. And we'll just scroll down some more and see what else we find. Oh, drift type. I really like drift type. So I'm going to hit download. And it'll go straight to the download folder. It comes in a zip file. You just have to open it. Open the folder. Um, I'm just going to take that one and not the other version of the font because I like this one the best. Open it up. Hit install font. And bam, it's already installed. Close that. I'm going to drag these things out and open Keynote. Pick the black one, like almost always. Zoom out and let's see what our font looks like. Delete that. Let's just type Drift Type, which is the name of that font. Let's make it bigger so we can see it better. And go to Font. There it is, drift type. So that's how you download a custom font. All right guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, subscribe if you want to for more tutorials plus vlogs. I hope you guys like my beard. I've been growing it out for this winter season, but I'll see you guys in the next one.